Hello and welcome to A Tank. Today, we're going to present to you a video that tells you the story of Forgotten Inventor. He is one of the greatest geniuses the world has ever known. This is the tragic story of Nikola Tesla. He was famous before he went downhill. How can this be? Well, his death illustrates even the tormented life of this great genius. He died alone and almost ruined in New Yorker hotel room in January 7th, 1943. And yet, watching TV or turning on the light is possible in part because of his inventions. But how could such an inventor have met such fate? That's what we're going to discover in this video. Who was Nikola Tesla really? The inventor was born on July 10th, 1856 in a small town called Malgen. It is located in the Austrian Empire in the present-day Croatia. Already during his childhood, he was full of imagination. This gave him a unique character for the passion of inventions. He could concept plans in his mind without going through drawings. Passionate about engineering, he received a scholarship from the Technical University of Graz in Austria. He was especially noted for his relentless love for work. But like his life story, this success did not last long. Numerous problems led him to drop out of school, and yet everything started well. In his first year, Tesla never missed an hour of class. He got the best grades possible and passed nine exams. The Dean of the College of Technology proudly decided to send a letter to his father. In it, he praised Tesla, describing him as a first-rate star. When Tesla returned home at the end of the school year, he was disappointed. His parents lacked enthusiasm for his academic achievements. They were much more concerned about his health. In fact, Tesla's life is fast-paced during the school year. He wakes up at 3 a.m. and he does not go to bed until 11 at night. And that's without a movement of rest or fun. But even that he was able to cope with. But things got even worse around 1877. Tesla disagreed with his physics teacher during a demonstration of the Grammy machine. Convinced that he was right, Tesla abandoned his plans to become a professor and joined the engineering facility. He then got into an argument with his German classmate. The latter allegedly ridiculed Tesla for his academic dedication. Following this, Tesla began to associate with other students. He began to go out at night. He gradually lost himself in the world of dominoes and chess. And in this adventure, he even becomes a very good pool player. He gets a taste of the cards and gambling, so much so that it becomes an obsession. Unfortunately, in the first semester of his third year, Tesla failed to show up for class. He lost his military scholarship. He tried to get a new one, but by then it was too late. After that, he traveled around Europe before landing in a telephone company as an electrician. This adventure allowed him to begin the design of his greatest invention. It was the production of alternating current. At that time, direct current still dominated the world of electricity. And one well-known named already had many branches in the United States and Europe. It was the American Thomas Edison, the famous inventor of the light bulb, among other things. He made it possible for many households to light up with the direct current. It is the meeting between Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison that will completely change the world. But how could two people, one in Europe and the other in America, achieve such a result? It all began when Nikola Tesla joined a subsidiary of Thomas Edison's electricity company in Paris. He was in charge of installing lighting, but very quickly he distinguished himself again by his talents. The managers offered him another position before sending him to America in 1884. He had the opportunity to work at the Edison Machine Works in New York. And always in his earliest days, Tesla made a strong impression on his boss, Thomas Edison. However, the clash between two men came about very quickly. The cause was in the way electricity was produced and distributed. Thomas Edison advocated direct current. Nikola Tesla relied more on alternating current. But before going further, we must see the difference between these two types of current. This is the reason for discord between these two men. The two types of current differ in both the way that they produce and the way that they're distributed. Direct current is a flow of the electrons that always goes in one direction. The flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. Alternating current is the flow of electrons that can flow from one direction to the other. But that's not all because the production of these types of electricity is not the same. For direct current, electrochemical generators are used. These are the batteries and cells that you have at home. For alternating current, an alternator with a rotor is used. The high speed of the rotor and the high speed frequency of the current. But now let's get back to the duel of the wits. Tesla left Edison's company following their disagreement. Afterwards, he started his own alternating current business. But few people were interested in his invention. His project quickly fell into oblivion, but in 1887, he invented a monitor that worked with alternating current. An investor found interest in his project. It was George Westinghouse. 
He immediately contracted Tesla. The two men were finally able to compete with Edison's direct current, but the latter had not said his last word. He launched a smear campaign against alternating current. His argument lay in the properties of the latter. With a voltage of more than 220 volts, alternating current is considerably deadly. By the way, did you know that Edison financed the electric chair? Their goal was to show the alternating current is very dangerous, but all this did not deter Westinghouse and Tesla. After 1893, World's Fair, they received the contract to light Buffalo, New York. They beat their rivals Edison and his direct current. But as always, behind a success is often a great disappointment. Indeed, Westinghouse informed him of the company's debts, and a sum of that amounts to more than $10 million. To solve this problem, Tesla's tore up the contract. It refuses to cover $12 million of royalties that should receive. This is a gesture of thanks to Westinghouse. The company has been saved. Tesla gets $216,000 for all the rights. It seems to be back on track again. But then why mention the tragic ending? Well, the last chapter of his life is combined of success and misfortune. With the money recovered from Westinghouse, he was able to create resource laboratories. He multiplied his inventions and filled numerous patents. In total, he filled nearly 300 patents during his lifetime. He was at the origin of the X-ray technology in the first remote controls. All of his research led to him having an invention that would be his undoing. It was the radio signal, but fate played another bad trick on him. Indeed, he was beaten by another inventor from England. It is about Marconi. He was the first to send a transatlantic message, but he used 17 of Tesla's patents. This led to a legal battle between the two men. This incident is the cause of Tesla's descent into hell. His loss of the patent on the radio signal pushed him to always invent, but his obsession led him to abandon his investors. He found himself always penniless before his death. But a question often arises on the web. Does Tesla have a direct link with the electric car brand? Well, the name Tesla has regained its greatness a bit thanks to the success of this company. It has not only taken back its name, but has also taken back Tesla's ambition to desire to challenge the world. And that's it folks, our video is coming to the end, and we hope you enjoyed it. Did you already know the story of Nikola Tesla? Let us know in the comments. Most importantly subscribe, click the like, and enable notifications for more exciting videos on our channel. See you soon on ATEC.